Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you are new. Today is Sunday, so that means it's time for another reading to take a look into the collective of Twin Flames, Divine Soulmate Connections, where there is a karmic partner or situation involved. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I do these readings as if it is a karmic partner on the masculine side, but of course it could also be on the feminine side. So just take the messages as they resonate for you because either way, the masculine energies and the feminine energies, sometimes they can overlap. So yeah, so just take it as it resonates for you. And also keeping in mind that it doesn't have to be a, a third party or a karmic person. It could be a situation like a job, an addiction, um, traditions even. All right, it could be anything. I just do the reading in this way, but you can apply the messages as they make sense for your situation. Also, this reading is general as always, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but if you would like a personal reading, I have all that information in the description box, and I also do offer cord cutting sessions, which can be really helpful for you on your healing journeys to um, cut cords with people from your past, okay? I'm not saying you need to cut the cord with your divine counterpart. A lot of people don't believe that's even possible, so that's not what I'm suggesting at all. Um, and if you would like more information about those, you can email me with any questions, or you can also take a look at my community page. I do have some posts up about those, what I offer exactly, the prices, and yeah, everything pretty much that you need to know. All right. So that, I think that's all I had to say. So let's get into this reading. We're gonna take a look at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation, their energy towards their feminine, and then we'll get some quick messages at the end for the feminines, as well as what is coming up in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so for the masculines, let's see what is going on. Ooh, that was quick. All right, we have attachment. All right, so this is something we're already aware of that there is still some sort of an attachment, but I feel like this card is showing up because this attachment is really coming to the forefront and it actually already has been. And if you can see this image, it's a woman removing a mask. So I feel like that's actually what's happening. It's like there's a mask that is being removed and because that mask is being removed, it becomes the way that I'm getting this, it's, it becomes more visible um, that the hand is chained, right, to the wall or to something. So I feel like that's what's happening. Like the masculine is beginning to really see the attachment and that's not comfortable. It's not comfortable, but it is also a very good, good step because if we don't know that we are attached to something or, you know, we've deceived ourselves into believing that we've detached, you know, becoming aware that we are still attached, that's what needs to happen in order for us to actually take the steps necessary to detach. So yeah, feeling like there's an attachment, it's like coming into that realization where you like, for example, when you realize that you're addicted to something, even something small, you know, like, I don't know, just an example, Netflix, you know, and it starts to bother you and you're just like, shit, you know, like I need to, I don't want to be attached. Like I don't need want to have like this addiction or this bad habit. So it's kind of like that. Let's see what else can we get with this. Yeah, see, look at that. I mean, well, like, what are the chances of getting the sovereignty card right after the attachment card? So this is just kind of confirming what I was saying, that it's this attachment breaking, revealing that mask and stepping more into sovereignty, or at least wanting that, right? So taking some steps to reach that sense of independence and detachment, right? From, from their karmic situation, whatever it is. So I will just get a couple more see what other message wants to come through and then we'll get into the tarot so what else can we know about the masculines currently oh all right soulmate separation surrender wow these are our pretty strong energies here wow 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 okay um, <laughs> there is this deep also realization, not that they didn't know this before, but I feel like this is just something really coming to the forefront, right? That a separation is needed in order for them to be able to come into union with their divine counterpart, right? So this is just something that is coming that they're thinking about more and more and more 
and I feel like right now it's just like really bombarding their headspace. Um, it's like surrendering, surrendering to this idea that, you know, a separation is needed. It is required in order for them to break away from the attachment and to be sovereign. Like it can only come with that separation. And so this is important because like I said, you know, it's like realizing that you're addicted to something or that you're attached to something and then not liking that feeling like, you know, almost like getting egotistical about it. Like I don't, I'm stronger than that. Like I don't need to be attached. I don't, you know, I'm not dependent on something. So it's kind of like that. So surrendering to the idea that this separation is what is um, needed. So let's, Let's get into the tarot. This is, there's another message coming through about the separation um, with their divine counterpart being very painful at the moment. And this is also one of the um, triggers that is pushing them towards surrendering. So let's see, what is their energy towards this karmic situation? All right, we have the Hierophant in reverse, Strength in reverse, and the Page of Cups. All right. Um, it definitely feels like there's some kind of a collapse here, right? With the, with the Hierophant being in reverse. We also do have strength in reverse. But what I'm getting with this is like, like there's a very low tolerance um, for this connection that they have um, with the karmic partner or, you know, within the situation. So it's kind of like, you know, whatever kind of unity they, they felt, like whatever like beliefs they were holding on to, like they're questioning these things. Um, whatever it is that is happening between the two of them, or if it's like a group of people, you know, you guys get it. <laughs> um, there's, they're not able to tolerate a lot of what it is that is going on or what it is that doesn't feel like it is in alignment. All right, now they do feel bad though. Like there's this essence here with the Page of Cups, like almost, um, We'll see, we might clarify some of these, but an essence of like maybe feeling sorry for them or just feeling sympathy, um, but at the same time, again, like not tolerating though, but still feeling like some kind of an emotion, like, you know, they're not completely apathetic or um, lacking empathy. It's not that at all, if anything, quite the opposite. So we'll see. Um, I also get that that the masculine is actually being pretty expressive about this and about how they're feeling. If not like very directly, like if not verbally, their emotions though are showing through. All right, of this um, not tolerating, you know, whatever. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. The Six of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. All right. So this is interesting. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of getting that there's like um, some peace at the moment. There's peace. There's like some kind of tranquility, like I'm not seeing the um, like stress and the towers and all of these like really intense energies that we were getting for like the past, I don't know, how long was it, like a month or so where it felt like, you know, something was building, building, building. Like I, I'm actually getting that this is like the quiet before the storm. Um, but before I say anything more about that, like I do want to get... Um, another row, but I'm seeing here that they're trying to maintain some kind of some kind of a balance. They're trying to be communicative in a very like calm and peaceful type of a way. 
and just you know being actually being being loving being um being nice it's that kind of an energy even though they cannot they can they're not tolerating much um it's it just feels like it's the quiet before the storm <laughs> Um, it's what I'm actually getting is that it's like almost feeling like our all right okay let me give an example so it's like you know how like if you're watching a movie and there's like this monster chasing the guy or whatever and it's like it's building it's building it's building and and you know it's a scary movie so like you're scared of what the monster is going to do to the guy and then all of a sudden like the monster like disappears for like I don't know a couple minutes like it's just like really really quiet so it's like you think that the monster is gone so that's kind of like the phase that the masculine is in right now almost feeling like all right I got away with this you know it was building you know I felt like I couldn't take it anymore and that I was gonna have to take action and like and you know separate or you know um, release this or you know walk away from this or whatever and then all of a sudden it's feeling kind of calm so they're like oh phew you know like that was a close one all right everything is good i'm okay like i can stay where i am but you know then the monster just comes out of nowhere and that's when it's like the um the, the like the climax of the movie right so that's that's what i'm getting here that's like what's coming it's almost like they don't even see what's coming um right now they're just like yeah you know everything's good it's not yeah, and it is that there that whole thing in the beginning about them seeing the attachment. Again, still, it's like, yeah, um, still feeling like, like they got away with, they got away, they got away with it easy. I hope that makes sense. Um, but this is still happening, like, in the background. All right, this attachment, so sovereignty. You know, knowing that they need to release this in order to. Um, have their soulmate or you know th just the whole push to surrender like that's still happening that's like the overview of what's happening but it's like right now like this week or maybe last week or next week depending all right because it's it's going to be different for each of you they're going through this like quiet phase all right let's see what's going on with them emotionally The Nine of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Cups. All right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's pretty much what I've been saying. Um, it's kind of like, okay, you know, like not putting in effort anymore at the moment. Um, feeling like, you know, things might be getting easier. Feeling like, all right, you know, maybe we can have like, like a new start here. It's, it's going to be very short-lived, okay? It's going to be so, like, it's not even, and not even short-lived, like, even that's an overstatement, all right? It's, <laughs> it's literally, like, those seconds where the monster just disappears, right? Just to come back, like, bigger and, and fiercer with more weapons, you know? Um, it's, it's kind of like that, and that's what's coming in, um, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm saying it, like, in a way where I'm, like, almost like joking about it. It's not funny. Like it's going to be pretty intense for them. Like it is going to be intense. Like, but you know, this is just, it is what it is, right? So yeah, I mean, four of cups. It's not, it's not going to, it's not going to last at all, right? Because very quickly they're realizing, you know, how much they're settling and how um, unhappy they are. And I feel like, yeah, it's just going to get like worse from there. So, I mean, I guess we'll see more once we also look into the future energies. Um, but yeah, let's see what their energy is towards their feminine. So what is their general energy towards their feminine? All right, we have the Six of Wands in reverse, the Emperor, interesting, and the Death card in reverse. All right, so.
they know it's not over between the two of you. So this is, um, here's another message I'm getting with the very first Oracle cards. So for some of them on some level, like even though they're in a lot of pain in terms of not being with their feminine at the moment, um, because they're going through this quiet phase, it's kind of like they're convincing themselves that, that, well, you know, this is just what it is and I can handle it. Like almost like surrendering to the separation. Like it's fine. You know, I can, I, I can do this. Like I said, it's going to be, it's all very short lived. So here we see like ego kind of getting in the way. Um, that's like their ego speaking, feeling like, you know, yeah, I got this. I can, you know, handle this. But death is in reverse. It's not over. It's not really the case. Like they're trying to convince themselves like they have some kind of a control over this and over the separation, over being apart. And whatever that means to you, maybe it doesn't necessarily mean you're not in, in communication. Maybe you are, but you're just, you, you're obviously not in union, you know, if the masculine is still holding on to a karmic partner or situation. And also, you know, if you are. Um, so yeah, it's not over. They're just trying to feel like they have some control over it, trying to surrender to to the separation. But again, it's not it's not working because they're realizing that they have this attachment and they want to be sovereign. They want to be free. Like it's bugging them. They're just going through that quiet phase. Um, all right, let's see what's going on in their headspace. The Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. All right, well, there is some stress here. There's that stress showing up on the side of the feminine. Um, again, it's like they're trying to control it. They're trying to keep it at bay. The stress, I mean. It's kind of like they're trying to think on very practical terms and just taking it day by day like, you know, this is fine, but they're holding they're holding back, right? They're holding their energy back from you. But again, this is creating um, some stress. It's creating anxiety. There's some overthinking as well about this, but they're just trying to like stick to their stick to their path, keep things steady, just, you know, maintain that balance that I was talking about before. That's pretty much what they're doing even in terms of how they're feeling towards their towards their feminine but that stress is there so i find it very interesting that for both of these rows like the first two cards um i can't explain it but like the last two cards it's like this is like what's really going on like death in reverse and the nine of swords the stress and that this is not over but then the first two it's kind of like what they're trying to do um let's see what's going on emotionally The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower, <laughs> and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so see, they're trying, they're trying not to focus on you. So even if you are in communication, it's like they're just trying not to focus on what is really going on. Right? We also have that Eight of Wands in reverse, which is telling me that for a lot of you, you know, you're not in communication. Because this is them like holding back. However, the tower is right smack in the middle. And again, it to me, it feels like this tower, it's like, it's like literally right around the corner. I feel like they're holding back from this tower as well, since the tower is right between these two cards in reverse, which is them not really moving, right? Not really moving, not really trying to focus on this. So they're trying to keep their attention away. Um, from what they're truly feeling for their feminine because that's going to create that tower which is inevitable it's been building i honestly believe this is the quiet before the storm all right for this group of masculines um yeah i actually don't even feel like i want to clarify anything to be honest with you guys i just want to see what is coming up like it's it's just a very simple and clear message so i don't want to get too too deep into it and make it too complicated. That's what personal readings are for. All right, so let's see. 
what is coming up in the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation or partner. Ooh, Justice, the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse. All right. Wow. Okay. So big decision, big decision coming up. I feel like this is actually going to throw them off um, emotionally, but something, something in, um, in terms of a decision having to be made, like it's just going to be right in front of their face. And this is going to create a lot of stress for them to the point where they feel like, all right, I cannot avoid this anymore. And it's going to have to be like this decision based on love, like having to make a decision in terms of love. And especially, you know, in a situation where they feel, where they feel no, no romantic love for this person, or if it's a situation, again, feeling intuitively like this is just not in alignment with them. So justice is coming up. I do also get that this might have to do with certain consequences presenting themselves to the masculine. And these consequences are going to create a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, um, which is going to be really bad. Like I feel like this nine of swords in reverse is actually representing the intensity of, of the stress, which is actually going to be worse than the one that they're feeling currently for their, for their feminine. So yeah, it definitely feels like this is just going to come out, out of nowhere because like I said, right now, it's just like this calm, like feeling like, yeah, you know, this is like, everything's okay. I'm okay. You know, we're being peaceful, you know, um, keeping a balance. Even though, like I said, Four of Cups, you know, um, emotionally being very unhappy and settling pretty much, discontent, bored even. So let's see their energy coming up towards their feminines. Next couple of weeks or so. Temperance in reverse, justice showing up a second time <laughs> and strength, which is showing up upright. Oh great, wow, three major arcana cards um, towards their feminines. Okay, so they're just really coming into this energy of, I feel like it's it's some impatience here. Impatience to find justice. Impatience to really bring things into balance. And this could be because, you know, maybe the feminine, I haven't looked at your energy yet, but you know, you're likely doing your own thing, you know, uh, for the most part, um, as we've been seeing, like you've been doing a really good job of like um, detaching, you know, moving forward. Um, finding your best version of yourself, healing, all of these things, right, which automatically like draws in the masculine and helps the masculine with what it is that they have to do. But this can also, this can also create some kind of um, discomfort for them as well, because on an energetic level, you know, they want to match you, right? They want to match you. So the, the, um, the more that you raise your frequency and the more that you move forward the more that the masculine is pulled in that direction also energetically because they want to match you so that's kind of like what i'm getting here i'm also feeling like you know they're going to pretty much feel out of balance and with you and because of that they're going to want to bring that into balance right that's why we have temperance in reverse and then justice upright because they want to balance that out like whatever is not in alignment they will feel like they need to bring it in alignment. So I do love that we have justice here twice. Again, this is also talking about that decision, right? A decision that needs to be made, like a final final decision here. So that's coming in towards the feminine with a lot of, with a lot of strength. And not only that, um, it's also the consequences. So they're gonna be facing consequences um, in terms of what has been happening with the karmic situation, but also in terms of what's been happening with the, with their divine feminine and what has been happening. It's like justice is just really coming in. Like, I feel like they're going to be shown a lot of realities here. So it's like reality is going to be slapping them in the face. Like, you know, 
that's like justice, that's karma playing out. So this is something that, which I feel is actually what is going to lead to that um, big tower, right? So right now it's like they're in the quiet and then we have this happening here with justice showing up twice and then it's just like, bam, you know, like things blow up and it's, it's just, it's going to be big. Like I still feel that, I still feel that. And I feel like it's, um, yeah. The quiet be for the storm, basically. So, um, let's see, let's see the feminines. So just a few oracle cards, any messages for the feminines watching this that this might be resonating for. We have man holding a coin and woman holding a coin. Oh, okay, I just realized that, yeah. Okay, so that's interesting, right? It's like the like the um, perfect matching couple here. All right, give me one sec, let's see what else. I feel like this is really like, um, the one message I'm getting here is that this is the feminine, like really bringing into balance both the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. So, I mean, what this means is that, you know, you're not so dependent on your masculine, right? It's like you are embodying both the masculine and the feminine from within your own self. And therefore that is helping you to detach, to not be dependent on the masculine for your own happiness or for your own anything really. And again, I feel like that is part of what I was saying before where you, by you doing that, it's just pulling the masculine in that direction because why? Well, we had attachment and sovereignty in the very beginning for the masculines, right? So pretty much confirming what I was saying before that, you know, the more that you do this, the more that you are also helping the masculine to move forward as well and to detach from what they need to detach from. All right, we have the void. And let me just get a couple more from this deck. have nostalgia <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say with the void you know that just because you are detaching I feel like spirit just really wants us to remember that just because we are detaching it doesn't mean that we don't have nostalgia all right it doesn't mean that we don't feel um, the absence of the masculine so just because you're embodying both it doesn't mean that so don't don't assume that just because you know you still um, have nostalgia for your masculine that um, or you still, you know, feel their absence and that you still feel like something isn't like, you know, 100% where it should be. Just because you feel that, it doesn't mean though that you're not, that you're not detaching. It doesn't mean that you're not, um, you know, merging your masculine and feminine and bringing those into balance, all right? This is just like a normal, you know, natural um, part of it part of the process and just part of, you know, this connection. Like that is just something that is, that is there. And really it's like just being able to manage it. All right, we have, we also have barrier and we have observer. So what's really important here, um, I feel like this is just like a message of guidance. All right, for some of the feminines watching here, watching this video is to really be aware, like try to just become as aware as possible to your own barriers, to what it is in your life, right, that, that you are attached to, whether it's the masculine or whether it's other things in your life, um, you know, whatever those, those things are, you know, like, or even if you're not aware of them, you know, be, be open to seeing them. And even if, if you're trying to like think hard and be like, all right, what am I attached to? What am I attached to? You know, just leave it, just ask the question and leave it 
Just be open to seeing it when it's presented to you and it will be presented to you. Like spirit will make it known to you what that is. So then you can also, you know, continue to um, move forward from that and, you know, deal with that in whatever way that, that you can. So that's the message here that I'm getting for, for the feminines. Just, just be open-minded, just, you know, keep your eyes open for, you know, to see whatever it is that you are attached to because by resolving that or doing, you know, the best that you can, like that's, first of all, what, the most important, it's going to help you, all right, personally. And then as a side effect, it also is going to help your masculine, all right, but that's, that's a side effect. Right. They're also responsible for their own healing and their own actions as well. All right, so let's close this reading out with an oracle card. See any final messages that want to come through. All right. Okay, that's interesting. We have Observer and we have Yang. Um, all right, so two messages here and, and actually like the one applies to the masculine and the other applies to the feminine. So for the feminine, all right, because that's just, I was just talking about this. <laughs> observer, observer, right? Observing what it is that you need to observe and then taking action on that. And I feel like you are seeing a lot, like you actually are seeing a lot. You have seen a lot of the obstacles here. You are seeing the barriers and you are being, you know, realistic and accepting of those. And if not, you know, we'll then, you know, take this as the guidance. I also do find it interesting that we have the observer card twice, like they both say observer. And then we also have the number one twice, all right, which is about new beginnings um, and manifesting. So yeah keep that in mind as well now for the masculines right this is them also this is the quiet the right now they're observing they're just observing like the situation and they're like yeah you know like i can get through this like all right you know everything's good and then like bam you know it's then <laughs> it's like this um fire ball just bursting and which is going to push them to have to take action and manifest like whatever it is that they're observing right now like yeah it's 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 going to blow up pretty much. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, please give me a thumbs up if this reading resonated with you or if you like my readings, do subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, feel free to leave any comments you want to share. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.